internet and welcome to the 39th episode of the deep fried neurons podcast i'm not sure what the number is but i'm pretty sure that's the one today we're discussing what truth is and i'm really excited to share this episode with you because i bantered on this one pretty hard and uh, there was no organized structure or anything like that to this one like many other episodes of the podcast actually um but i hope you enjoy so i'm going to cue the fucking Hello my dear people. That's what you are now. I'm I'm really tired. It's 2 in the morning and it's a 2 in the morning episode again. Yay! And the reason I'm awake at 2 today is because I just finished editing the pulp fiction video essay um which you guys might have seen or will see tomorrow. Link in this no, I'm not going to leave a leave a link in the description. But it's on the channel is what I'm trying to say on the YouTube channel, not on the not anywhere else um and also i have i have a big thing tomorrow so i'm completely going to exhaust myself by not sleeping and um today's episode is about a philosophical concept that boggles my mind all the time it's called the truth now the truth is a rather difficult question difficult concept to like get your head around at least to me um think about it what is the truth is the objective right like if something objectively exists and is indifferent to whether or not whether or not somebody desires it to be it is true but if that's the case then all reality is true and it's completely non perceivable to you i'll explain myself um for example you see with your eyes right like that's how you define sight sight is looking at things looking at uh things where light bounces off of them light in the visible spectrum bounces off of those things and comes back to your eyes and your eyes process that information so that your brain can understand something now depending on what wavelength that light was when it bounced off of something those things you perceive color but color isn't actually there color is just interpreted by your eyes and it's understood by it because it reflects a certain wavelength um for example if that wavelength could translate into something else for some other species i think that's technically possible i'm not a biologist though what i'm trying to say is color is perceived so is most reality same with he- hearing your eardrums get pressurized according to the sound and vibrations that they hear and then they make a pattern with a hair on something inside your ear and then that in turn is translated into your brain same as with your smell taste touch all the senses the reason i'm talking about this is i'm and i'm not even joking is because i posted this meme it said hey dickhead science and god are in the same grave and the reality is beyond your reach and i got thinking about it and i remember reading somebody from um, the islamic golden age in the baghdad house of wisdom who was talking about something similar is why i got here so also i wanted to bring light about uh, a phenomenon called solipsism I think Vsauce has done a video about it in is anything real So solipsism is a method where you draw a defined line between what is and what you perceive things to be Does that make sense So for example you perceive color you perceive sight all the all the senses you have and uh, then 
they really exist and there's a difference between those th- those two things happening basically just cause you see it doesn't mean it's there just cause you heard it doesn't mean it's there so technically it is impossible for you to know if anything really exists or are you making it up now you understand why scientology was so easy to figure out for people <laughs> that's mean but that's fun as well anyway the point i'm trying to make is that truth is beyond your reach so it's just reasonable to assume what you're seeing is true and what you what you see everywhere else is real and you didn't create reality i mean not that you couldn't there is a certain amount of statistical possibility limited for that i'm sure but in all likeliness let's be fair if i have autonomy and somebody else has autonomy doesn't that mean that two people having autonomy means there's two more than one per person see this is the kind of stuff i think about and this is why i made this podcast finally i'm comfortable enough to say directly what i'm thinking into the mic and i'm glad about that so the question is if the truth isn't perceivable why do we perceive it so much and when will our pursuit of truth end one of the possible uh, answers that comes to me for pursuit of truths is that once the complete synchronization of man and machine finishes which is what we started when we started the technological and industrial revolution that's when will our end of truth will end because a computer for example though it perceives it has a wider range of senses and understanding to process what is happening all over around it so if we turn ourselves into computers when our consciousnesses will be downloadable that's when we will technically complete our pursuit of truth but till then there is no actual reaching the truth that's just reaching the technology that leads you to truth i mean what do you think about that do you think that at some point in in time uh human c- civilization will just cease to exist as we understand i mean i talked about this as in the are you replaceable episode because are you replaceable was quite a big question for me and if the theories i put in that episode are anywhere close to being remotely possible that means that that's the only answer because i don't see a way around it human flesh is extremely limiting um not just potential to do physical or mental or psychological uh, things and you know needing rest <laughs> but everything else as well it's just very interesting to think about for me in that how weird does existence get like you and i were born to survive i mean utility wise that's our only goal we formed our ancestors formed society and we keep continuing society because not only does it make survival easier it makes it more convenient now survival is so convenient that all of us have the time to actually have curiosity driven explorations to be done by us individually and as a collective and some of those curiosity driven explorations are so big that there are spaces dedicated to them and all of almost all of them are recorded and that's where people who are skilled enough to make those visions true are getting those ideas and that's where we're headed we're headed to make survival obsolete and i think that's brilliant don't you guys ever think about something like that talking to a mic makes me feel crazy a little now that's okay that's that's i'm here for your entertainment 
anyway if any of you feel like making a comment about what the truth is and what you think about truth uh, feel free to do so i am very curious what you think because so far today's overthinking has been about how truth is unknowable and uh, neither the concept or conceptualization of god or the pragmatic uh, systematic approach of science can decipher it objectively completely and will always be debatable as long as we're human and existent and that being alive and being existent is extremely weird which is great i think thank you okay my dudes that's all i have for you this week uh, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and keep for, keep listening to the podcast anywhere you're listening to this on castbox overcast spotify apple what wherever you get your shit i'm here so you can get it wherever you want and that that's completely great please follow me on instagram and facebook i share some dank memes at least on instagram you might have fun on them uh, or with them or about them whatever um support me on patreon please <laughs> and um thank you for keeping listening bye